Memos from the National Affairs Desk. Presented by Gonzo Today. www.gonzotoday.com With your host, Dr. Jafurius Higgison. Elsewhere around the country, enthusiasts, friends, fans, and lovers of the late, great Dr. Hunter S. Thompson will be gathering in Louisville, Kentucky in April to celebrate his life and works. The literary genius, which brought us his distinctive form of writing that became known as gonzo journalism, took his own life nearly ten years ago at his owl farm in Colorado. Gonzo Fest 2015 will be held the weekend of April 11th in the author's hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. The event is hosted by Ron Whitehead, Louisville native, poet, and friend of Thompson. The festival will kick off Friday, April 10th, with premiere of Storm Generation Films' Gonzo Fest 2014 documentary. That will be followed by an evening of bands, art, various leisure activities, and sport. The Squalus Puppeteers will be featured in this year's Gonzo Fest Parade. Uh, the Gonzo Fest 2015 will also launch a fundraising campaign to have a life-size bronze statue of Thompson created, which will eventually be placed at one of the main entrances to Cherokee Park in Louisville. Ralph Stedman has created the logo for Gonzo Fest 2015, along with some other art. Gonzo Today will join Gonzo Fest in being the first stop Gonzo Fest 2015 global news source. We here at the National Affairs Desk will keep you updated to the what's and where's of Gonzo Fest 2015 as they develop. And on a related note, Mr. Whitehead has recently lent his support to Gonzo Today and GonzoToday.com. He was also named the poetry editor for GonzoToday.com. Ron was very instrumental in having artist and Hunter's infamous running buddy Ralph Stedman design the new logo for GonzoToday.com. Thank you very much, Ron. Finally, we here at Gonzo Today would like to take this opportunity to officially dedicate this, the first installment of Memos from the National Affairs Desk, to the memory and enduring spirit of Hunter S. Thompson. Also to Hunter's family, Anita and his son Juan, and to all the grand and crazy folks that have crossed the transom at Owl Farm over the years, we thank you. We we'll leave you now with a poem written by Ron Whitehead. It was written in response to the terror attacks recently in Paris and to those atrocities committed in the past. Thanks for listening. I'm Jeff Urias Higgison. This has been Memos from the National Affairs Desk, presented by Gonzo Today and GonzoToday.com. Look us up on the Internet and be sure to check out our Facebook, and we're also on Twitter. I Will Not Bow Down by Ron Whitehead I will not bow down, jihadists. I will not bow down to your reign of terror, to your fear-based religions. I will not bow down, jihadists, to your unholy wars, to your international campaign of terror, to your religious shrines, your suicide bombers, your virgins in heaven. I will not bow down, jihadists, to your religious tyranny, to your murderous dogmas. I will not go crawling down your secret tunnels. I will not bow down to your invasion of the free world, to your moral absolutes, your religious political might. I will not bow down, jihadists, to your assassins, your killing, murdering machines. I will not bow down, jihadists, to your attempt to make me a jihadist, of your state, of your church. I will not bow down, jihadists, to your history of lies, to your hooded murders in the name of Allah. Jihadists. I pledge allegiance to those who were here before you, to those who will be here after you are gone. Jihadists, I pledge allegiance to the woman I love. I pledge allegiance to my children, my grandchildren, my godchildren, and all my children to come. I pledge allegiance to my friends and allies, my guides and angels, both seen and unseen. Jihadists, I pledge allegiance to poetry, to music, to art, to the literary renaissance, to the global literary community. I pledge allegiance to the beat to the outsider. I pledge allegiance to meditation and stillness, to the magic of beautiful mysticism, to ecstasy, to ah and ah. To the big bane epiphany, to altered states of consciousness, I pledge allegiance to seeing into the occult, the unknown, to seeing into every day, into the ordinary and being amazed. I pledge allegiance to the sacred and the profane, to Gnostic turpitude. I pledge allegiance to my physical body and to the knowledge that I am more than my physical body. I pledge allegiance to seeing more than the physical world and to those of higher frequency vibration and consciousness. I pledge allegiance to passing through the sacred fire, to entering the upper chamber of the golden pyramid, 
to levitating over the open sarcophagus to out-of-body experience. I pledge allegiance to the hottest sex, to the gentlest affections. I pledge allegiance to fractal geometry and geometry of clouds and coastlines, to two times two equaling five. I pledge allegiance to failure, to failing as no other dared fail. I pledge allegiance to taking risks, to my holy darling, to nam nyoho rinikyo, to accept responsibility for my own actions. I pledge allegiance to not achieving the jihadist dream of success. Jihadist, I pledge allegiance to trees, to green grass, to brown earth, to wildflowers of every color, to wilderness, to turquoise skies, to rivers, lakes, and seas, to healing the earth. I pledge allegiance to the creative forces of the universe, to the word, and to silent. I pledge allegiance to dreams. I pledge allegiance to birth, to the end, and to death. I pledge allegiance to candor, to sincerity, to laughter, and to irony. I pledge allegiance to passion, to compassion, to empathy, and to helping those in need. I pledge allegiance to resurrection of the heart. I pledge allegiance to not hurting anyone. No, jihadists, I will not bow down.